stunning raid, cop versus cop. Now Detroit Police Internal Affairs are investigating a huge and dangerous mistake. Yeah, cops staged a drug raid only to discover they were about to bust their own undercover officers posing as dealers. It happened last night on Andover Street near Seven Mile and John R. on the city's east side. Seven investigator Jim Kirchner on the scene of this at uh, the bruising clash with a look at how this happened, Jim. This is Seven Mile at Andover Street. Andover running to the north. It was 8 o'clock last night that this raid went down. The two sets of officers clashing. This could have been deadly. It should have never happened. But both kinds of police work, the undercover and the raid, needed to fight the crime here. Very busy, 24-7. He does not want us to show you his face or use his name. He's lived here on Andover for 10 years. You'll see here more blight than life. And what you don't see on the surface, the underworld of street drugs and street walkers. I mean, it's crazy. Take a look at past Detroit police raids. Officers in full tactical gear racing up with high-powered assault rifles with officers as backup. Sources confirmed to the seven investigators as many as two dozen officers were involved last night as the 11th Precinct staged the raid, not knowing 12th Precinct officers were their target at this house, posing as drug dealers. Sources say very volatile. Somebody could have gotten shot. Yeah, shot, killed. I mean, there's a lot of murders around here. Only seven Action News cameras are rolling as Detroit Police Internal Affairs canvas Andover, taking pictures in the daylight, and they keep their distance from this watchdog, still protecting the drug house. Sources say the undercover cops who were here last night are working what is called a push-off, where they can make arrests and seize vehicles that can generate revenue. For real, for real. Right. That's wild, baby. Sources also say there's a good system in place for communication so that you don't end up with Keystone Cops. That's part of the internal investigation that will include interviews with all of the officers involved, as well as command staff. They dropped the ball. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, they dropped the ball. My sources say this got heated, even emotional. There was pushing, shoving, some bruising involved. One source says he's been on the job more than 20 years and nothing like this has happened, even with all the raids that go on all the time in the city of Detroit. And there's one interesting caveat. One of the suspects taken down who was an officer was held at gunpoint. The officer holding him down then realized they went to the police academy together. On Detroit's east side, Jim Kurtz, 7 Action News. Wow, all right. Thank you so much, Jim. We do